In our last video, we covered variable and fixed cost, but we didn't cover mixed cost or the relevant range. Let's do that now. Mixed costs are made up of both variable costs and fixed costs. Let's look at a graph. As always, the x-axis is the level of activity, but in this case, the y-axis is total cost. Because it's a mix, there's going to be a fixed cost component. Even if we produce zero, it's still going to cost us something. We also have our variable costs. Variable costs change with the level of activity. Remember that the slope of this line is equal to the variable cost per unit. In this case, if we produce a thousand units, this will be our total cost. That total cost will be made up of both the variable costs and the fixed cost component. Mixed costs are a mix of both variable and fixed costs. Now, what about the relevant range? The relevant range is a range of normal activity, and within this range, the variable cost per unit will be fixed, and the fixed costs in total will also be fixed. Let's take a look at that. Remember that the variable costs per unit are fixed, regardless of the level of activity. Let's assume that this is a thousand units. Up to a thousand units, we're paying this much per unit. But what if suddenly I produce more units? I don't produce a thousand, I produce two thousand. It's possible that a supplier says to me, when you purchase more raw material, I'll reduce the overall price. That would cause our per unit variable costs to go down, but only if we make above a thousand units. This is the relevant range. Within that relevant range, our per unit variable costs are fixed. As soon as I step outside that relevant range, my per unit variable costs change. Is the same true for the fixed costs? Absolutely. Looking at level of activity and our total fixed costs, it may be that our fixed costs are set up to a thousand units. But if I want to produce more than a thousand units, I'm going to have to open a new shift. So right now, up to 1,000 units, I only have a daytime shift, but if I want to produce up to 2,000 units, I'm going to have to have an afternoon shift at my factory also. That could cause a sudden jump in the fixed costs. With the additional shift, I can produce additional products, but it's going to cost me additional amounts. This is the relevant range. Within that relevant range, total fixed costs are constant. As soon as I get out of that relevant range, my costs are going to change. That means relevant range is an area of normal activity wherein the variable cost per unit stay fixed and total fixed costs stay constant. What would the relevant range look like if we were looking at the total variable cost? Let's graph the total variable cost to see what's going to happen. We've got the level of activity and we've got total variable cost. Remember, we said if we produce zero, it's going to cost us zero, but as soon as we produce even one, it's going to start costing us. Assume this is a thousand units. We also said that the slope of this line is equal to the variable cost per unit. Can you imagine what's going to happen when we decide to produce up to 2,000 units? Let's jump back to our previous page. We noted that our variable cost per unit decreased when I increased production beyond a thousand units. In that case, the slope of the line will decrease. This will be the new variable cost per unit, but only for the units that I produce above 1,000. If I produce less than 1,000 units, I'm not going to get the discount. You can therefore see what going outside of the relevant range will do to the total variable cost line. Why should we care? That's going to be the discussion for my next video.